In this video, I'll show how to take a 3D object. In this case, it was created in Blender, and I have a link to the video showing how I made this particular uh, 3D object. Um, I'm gonna show how to bring that into um, Arrow and how to animate it uh, so that you can create a, um, an augmented reality scene with 3D objects. All right, so this is the 3D logo that I created in Blender, and I wanna take this and export it uh, as a GLTF or GLB. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm in Adobe Arrow on the desktop. Uh, I'm gonna name my project. Uh, there's three different modes now. Um, this location anchor is a newer one that they added, but let's go into surface anchor. Um, and this is something that we can just attach to any surface. Uh, it doesn't matter where we are. Uh, image anchor is something that you can actually attach to a specific image. I'll read that and then you can you know, pull up a specific graphic. Um, so, uh, Let's see, the first thing I wanna do is, th well, there's two different modes down here. Um, there's the content and then there's these uh, animations. So I want to go in and import that 3D logo I had. It's this PSUGD blue, and you can see what that looks like. Um, you can grab these, you can resize things, we can, uh, if you hit, I think R, you can rotate it, right? Um, okay, so this is just in, in my scene. Um, it's just attached this horizontal surface. So right now it would just be sitting on top of it. Um, what I can do is go into these triggers and this is where I can add animations. So I could do something like maybe just at the start, it'll immediately start animating. Um, and then that's the trigger. And then we're gonna do an animation. Um, now, uh, you could have an animation kind of uh, made and attach this already, but we don't have one. So we're gonna do something like um, maybe a spin. And if we go to press play, whoops. Um, I made a mistake in that I didn't have this selected when I hit the trigger. So I just wanna make sure that that's there. If you don't have it selected, you can change the subject here. And let's just go in here and then we can it's spinning that way. That is probably the wrong axis. I think I want it on the Z axis. Uh, there you go. So just spinning around. Um, you can change the duration. So this is um, what I mean in, in that I think it's sometimes easier to animate things here because you can kind of uh, kind of change that. You could put a delay onto it. Maybe um, you can you can change. Uh, well, there's only a few options as, as far as easing goes. So you want a little bit of slowing down and speeding up. Um, you could have this spin infinitely. And yeah, uh, we can also you know, move this around if we want this to go a little higher up off of the ground. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's open this up in, um, Adobe Arrow on a mobile app uh, and see how this works. Here I am in Adobe Arrow on my phone and I've loaded that file. I'm gonna place it on the surface um, and then when I go to preview, I can see that animation that's there. This is a video recording that I've made from directly from Arrow, but I can walk around and you know you see this uh, 3D object um, in space. You see the reflectiveness as well, um, and you know within here you can do uh, you can open uh, Arrow up and you can make some adjustments. And uh, if you feel like the scene isn't exactly how you imagined it, you can always add and subtract um, parts of the animation or even scale reposition uh, this 3D object. One other way that you could animate something uh, in Arrow is actually to do the animation in something like Blender and then export that animation to Arrow. So, so for example, right now I could put an animation on this. It's not animated at all. This is uh, the timeline here uh, that I'm playing with and you can see nothing changes, but I could go in and um, lay some keyframes. Now keyframes are sort of like um, frames that will be uh, used to sort of set the key moments in the animation and then the software will automatically uh, interpolate the animation or the motion. So um, you can go and set a keyframe just by hitting this button here and you can see it turned yellow. And I'm gonna move forward a few frames. And actually, I, don't, I probably don't need all 250 frames here, so maybe I'll change that to 180. 
and you know move forward to like maybe 60 frames and here I might want to animate this moving up and then after I do this, this is really important I want to hit this button to save the keyframe and um, you know maybe it stays up here for a little while so I'm gonna hit another keyframe so I don't want it to move in between these these are like uh, this the, uh, the key moments in the action and then uh, maybe at the end it's gonna go back down to zero maybe something like that um, so if I go back to here and I just press play you can see what that looks like um, you know that's a little bit slow and that's a little basic um, I might add one more thing just because you could do something like this really easily in arrow I think if you were gonna do uh, do something that's more complex or had different moves to it maybe you want to animate it ahead of time so maybe I'll have a raise up um, rise up and then uh, rotate or spin here so maybe here it does like a full 360 one thing we can do is click in here and we can uh, oh, whoops I'm gonna do plus 360 so that's gonna uh, do the math for me and then I can hit this button again to keyframe it. And now you can see it moves up, it spins, it goes back. Okay, so I'm gonna save this out um, the same way I did before. I'm gonna um, export this as a uh, GLTF and it's gonna um, GD blue three, export this out, and then it's gonna um, have that animation that I can access in Adobe Arrow. Um, so let's go into Adobe Arrow. Here's um, a new file. We're gonna go into add. Here's that item right there. And then you wanna go into the behaviors, uh, oops, down here. And we are going to, uh, say scene start um, and we're going to have this uh, animation here um, let me just delete this to um, so uh, we're going to import that in and then we're going to add things like start you know when does this happen what's the trigger we'll go play animation and from here you can see that you can click the subject and also there's an animation set that came in with that um, that file so if I want to preview that I can see that um, quick things for just displaying this if you hit three you can kind of zoom out two is gonna pan around and then one is gonna let you uh, orbit it but uh, that might help you get a better view of this animation if it's too close Here's what it looked like on my phone when I used Adobe Arrow. All right, so I hope that's been helpful in showing a few ways that you can make a 3D um, object out of a vector file and then bring it into Adobe Arrow. You can animate it right in Adobe Arrow or you can uh, animate it in a 3D software and then bring it in that way.